Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations a squared minus b squared is equal to 64 and ab is equal to 8. Our job is to find all possible values of a plus b. So let's start by squaring both sides of this equation. The equation is a squared minus b squared is equal to 64 and we square both sides of this equation. By using this algebraic identity x minus y whole squared is equal to x squared plus y squared minus 2xy. This a squared minus b squared whole squared will become a squared whole squared plus b squared whole squared minus 2a squared b squared is equal to 64 squared. Now this a squared whole squared will become a to the power 4 plus this b squared whole squared will become b to the power 4 minus this 2a squared b squared is same as 2 a times b whole squared is equal to 64 squared. Now in this equation we replace this a b with this value a. So this will become a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 minus 2 times 8 squared is equal to 64 squared. Next, a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 minus 2 times this 8 squared is 64 is equal to 64 squared. Next, a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 is equal to this is 64 squared is same as 64 times 64. This negative 2 times 64 will become plus 2 times 64. Next, a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 is equal to, from these two terms we can factor out 64. In bracket left is 64 plus 2. Now this a to the power 4 can be written as a squared whole squared plus this b to the power 4 can be written as b squared whole squared is equal to 64 times 64 plus 2 will become 66. Now by using this algebraic identity x squared plus y squared is equal to x plus y whole squared minus 2xy. This a squared whole squared plus b squared whole squared will become a squared plus b squared whole squared minus 2 a squared b squared is equal to 64 times 66. Next a squared plus b squared whole squared minus this 2a squared b squared is same as 2 times a b whole squared is equal to 64 times 66. Now we replace this a b with the value of a b 8 from this equation. Since a times b is equal to 8, so this equation will become a squared plus b squared whole squared minus 2 times 8 squared is equal to 64 times 66. Next, a squared plus b 
squared whole squared minus 2 times so this a squared is 64 is equal to 64 times 66 now we move this uh, negative 2 times 64 to the right hand side this will become a squared plus uh, b squared whole squared is equal to 64 times 66 plus 2 times 64 next a squared plus b squared whole squared is equal to from these two terms we can factor out 64 in by the left is 66 plus 2 next a squared plus b squared whole squared is equal to this will become 64 times 68 now from here we take a square root of both sides at right hand side we take square root So this square will be considered out with this square root and at left hand side we are left with a squared plus b squared is equal to this will become plus minus root 64 times root this 68 can be written as 4 times 17 next a squared plus b squared is equal to plus minus this root 64 is 8 times root 4 is 2 times root 17 next a squared plus b squared is equal to plus minus this 8 times 2 will become 16 times root 17. It means that uh, a squared plus uh, b squared is equal to positive 16 times uh, root 17 and uh, a squared plus uh, b squared is equal to negative 16 times uh, root 17. Now sum of two squares is always positive so this expression at the left hand side is uh, greater than 0 but this uh, negative 16 times root 17 is less than 0 so this is not possible this will be rejected and we continue from this equation by using algebraic identity this uh, a squared plus b squared can be written as uh, a plus uh, b whole squared minus 2ab is equal to 16 times root 17 and we replace this AB AB is equal to 8 since A times B is equal to 8 so this equation will become A plus B whole squared minus 2 times 8 is equal to 16 times root 17 x a plus b whole squared minus 2 times 8 will become 16 is equal to 16 times root 17 next a plus b whole squared is equal to this negative 16 will become positive 16 plus 16 times root 17 next a plus b whole squared is equal to we can factor out 16 from these two terms 16 as common factor in back left 1 plus root 17 and from here we take a square root of both sides so this square will be considered with this square root 
and we are left with a plus b is equal to this will become plus minus root 16 times root 1 plus root 17 next a plus b is equal to this will become plus minus 4 times root 1 plus root 17 it means we get two values of a plus b a plus b is equal to 4 times root 1 plus root 17 and second value is a plus b is equal to negative 4 times root 1 plus root 17. So these are the two solutions.